75 career touchdowns. How about nearly 10,000 yards rushing? How about two Pro Bowls? And how about the second leading rusher all time in Chicago Bears history? This is Matt Forte sitting next to me, everybody. Matt, it's so good to have you in Great here. Great to today. be here. So let's talk about the news everyone's talking about right now is the Chicago Bears made their draft pick. They went defensively. I know you're an offensive guy. Yeah. Roquan Smith, though, everyone seems to love it. The linebacker out of Georgia. Are you a fan of the pick? Definitely a fan of the pick. I mean, you can see uh, on his film, uh, sideline to sideline linebacker. Uh, the Bears definitely need some help at that position. I think he can help out uh, with Danny Trevathan and all those guys that they have there. So, uh, good pick. Okay, so 10 years ago, that was you hearing your name called. Second yeah. round, you went 44th coming out of Tulane. Come here to Chicago. What was that like? It was it was amazing. I, uh, I, I had grown up, grown up in Louisiana, went to college there. So I had been there my entire life to get drafted and come up to Chicago and be able to make a name for myself was awesome. So uh, and the city embraced me and it was, it's, you know, it was it was a great time. Yeah, they embraced you because you delivered, man. You know they would have. <laughs> you got to deliver. That's if the Deuce, that's the Deuce key wasn't point. getting paid yeah. so we would have been talking about this. So you know, let's talk about some other some other big news. Um, it, it's it's one of those things. It's it's bittersweet for the fan to see yeah. because there's the glory days of Matt Forte running that thing, but also like not many running backs can do kind of struggling with one right now to do it catch the football you did that really well too but then you, you you retire and you wanted to do it here in Chicago why and what was it like finally retiring why because like what you just said 10 years ago they took a chance on me uh, you know a little kid out of Tulane nobody that's not a football school so to speak like the SEC or yeah. anything like that and you know they believed in me so uh, came here definitely produced and, and made a name for myself so and the, and the fans like I said they embraced me and and uh, and, uh, you know, to be able to follow in the footsteps of Walter Payton, Gail Sayers, those guys like that, um, you definitely, you always got to go back to your first love. So, um, you know, the, I definitely had to come back as, as a bear and be able to retire as a bear for life. Well, I think that's what's so cool, too, because you're from Louisiana. You, after your time here with the Chicago Bears, you went to New York. You know, you were in that, that big city, the bright mm -hmm. lights of, with the New York Jets. But you retire, and you retire as a Chicago Bear, like we just talked about. But you also come back to Chicago, and this is where you and your family reside. Why did you want to stay here? What made you love it so much you didn't want to leave? Because well, this weather one, ain't fun, man. <laughs> exactly. These taxes ain't fun either. <laughs> well, number, number one, my wife is from here. So, you know, happy wife, happy life. So that's it. We can lay out. That's, no. that's it. That's why he's here, everybody. <laughs> but secondly, I started my foundation here, uh, the What's Your Forte Foundation. Look at that family right there, man. Beautiful and, uh, family. Yeah, and, and, you know, to be back here and to continue my foundation works here and also uh, to live here. The city is awesome. I mean, uh, no, you can't beat summertime shy as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, another guy that you retired with alongside you, Devin Hester, who's another guy who made a lot of highlight moments oh, yeah. here in Chicago. You think about the Super Bowl, the kickback that he took against the Colts. Uh, the best to ever do it at his position. Yeah. But his position is not one that's highlighted in the NFL Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. You took your time up there. It was your moment. It was about Matt Forte, and yet you also wanted to mention this guy deserves to be the first special teams guy yeah. in the Hall of Fame. Why do you think so? I think so because, you know, people like, like to say, oh, he's a specialist. Uh, well, who says specialists don't deserve a place in the Hall of Fame? And it's especially a guy like Devin, he didn't just break a record. He changed the game. They moved kickoffs up. They wouldn't kick to him. So it's hard to return the ball if they're not kicking it to you. And yet he still broke the record. And, uh, I mean, I think he is obviously the greatest returner to ever play the game. But he played receiver, too. So he was out there making plays in, in the, the receiver game, too. So, um, I mean, Devin, Devin is a one-of-a-kind type of player. Those don't just come along, you know, every day. And I think you got to look at the body of work that he's done in that and look – and look at what type of player he did, he is, and how he impacted the game. So, I, you know, I was an athlete, but to this level. I played college <laughs> ball, and I still walk around my chest puffed out like, hey, I played. But you did it on the highest of levels with one of the most historically rich franchises in all of sport, the Chicago Bears, and you were a star, man. Mm -hmm. What was it like? Because I know the fans out here, I, I don't care what sport it is, it's a Bears town. Yeah. What was it like being under that scrutiny, but also enjoying that praise and that applause? It's, it's tough at first because uh, you're definitely under a lot of scrutiny. Uh, but when, when you, you start winning a couple games and things like that, it gets a lot better, a lot yeah. easier on you. So your, your best motivation is to win. But uh, at the same time, it's great. It's great being able to go out there and you, you work so hard for it. And when you see your hard work pay off, uh, it's just a, a real good feeling of satisfaction. So you talked about one of the things you're going to miss most, and I could relate to this being an athlete, was the locker room. And yeah. everyone's probably thinking, that's where you change. What are you going to miss about that? But it's the culture. It's the mm -hmm. camaraderie. It's that brotherhood. Um, can you speak a little bit about that for those who may not understand? 
Yeah, it's just different. Um, like that's why me and Devin are so tight. Uh, a lot of guys I still hang out with. I saw I was hanging out with Peanut Tillman yesterday. Uh, Spice Adams is one of my best friends too. He's a character. Uh, and and just being around those guys and and you think you know, you got, you know, you guys that are in the locker room. You go through the same thing, so you have like this, you know, this just. Uh, built-in brotherhood. 100%. You know, it's more than 100%. friendship. So I got to ask you this. What's life going to be like after football for you? What's on the horizon? Where can we expect to see Matt Forte? Yeah, I'm, uh, I've been doing some broadcasting things. Last year I did. Don't take all uh, the jobs. <laughs> Someone just got to stay in I'm not. You guys, are, you guys are good. <laughs> I need a lot of work at it. Uh, okay, there you go. So, uh, you know, that, you know, maybe some radio. But also I think I'm going to get into some acting stuff. And I want to, you know, see what, how I do on How I Fair on the big screen. I could really see you acting. Maybe it's because I think maybe I've seen it before. If you take a look right there, I mean, tell me if anybody <laughs> watches Power. Matt, I know you get this. That's Omari Hardwick. That's Ghost from the show Power, which we all love. Somebody stopped you. I mean, you even dress alike, man. You never heard that? You've had no, it. No, I've heard that. I've heard that a lot. And, uh, you know, if you're, you're light skinned and you got a goatee, you look like, you know, obviously Common. Or if you grow a beard, I'm Joe Budden. You know? <laughs> <laughs> see, see, that's what you do. When I grow a goatee, I look like Charles Barkley with a goatee. <laughs> so not all of us have the same looks, man, unfortunately, and the same success. I got to tell you, it's really cool having you in here because for all that you've achieved on the athletic side of stuff, I really take pleasure in seeing guys who are grounded, mm -hmm. who are cool, who are chill and mellow guys. And that's what you were the minute you walked in the studio and hanging out with us here. So Thank it's you. really cool. You got a great event going on tonight. Can you share with us that? Yeah, definitely. You got my, uh, my retirement party going on. But it's to benefit the What's Your Forte Foundation is held at Biagio Events. Tickets are still on sale at What's Your Forte Foundation.org. And, uh, you know, general admission is, is 150, but VIP is 250 and get you in to hang, in, hang out with me, get autographs. Uh, I got all kind of different food stations, chicken and waffles, shrimp and grits, pizza, That's everything. That's what he does. And, Matt Forte, you are a Hall of Famer, my it's friend. Be fun. You're, you're the best. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much for being here, Matt. If you want tickets for tonight's big retirement party, all those proceeds, like Matt said, do go to a great cause.